Well, I figured I'd do another run through Master of the Monster Lair, and I have to admit, I'm not so sure how often we're going to really be seeing, you know, Sakura in the background back there. Yeah, we got a hamster back there now instead of a bunch of mice. Um, yeah, the mice got moved over into separate tanks because, you know, Midnight kept picking fights, so she's in a 10-gallon tank by herself now. She's effectively been put into solitary confinement because she apparently can't be trusted around any of the others, you know, at this point. Um, and the other two got put back in their 20-gallon tank, so they're hanging out together, you know, where it's hopefully a bit more safe, considering Philo's neck is still a bit messed up from Midnight beating the shit out of her. Um, but she's been getting better, so it looks like she's going to make a reco fine recovery. So since that tank was free, I was going to get some more mice, you know, just put them all together at the same time, they'd be hopefully happy, and... Well, there weren't any interesting mice on um, sale at, the point, at that point in time, so I decided to just get a hamster. And I admit, that's a rather long intro into something that doesn't matter that much to people back there, probably anyway. But I figured I'd talk about it. Because, why not? But yeah, monsters have been seen in the forest recently, and so the town sent a letter to the castle requesting soldiers to hunt the monsters down. People of South Ark have been waiting in pain, however. No soldiers have been dispatched. Truth is, monsters have been peering all over the kingdom of Corlan recently, and this has been keeping their kingdom's soldiers more than occupied. Yeah, he actually does appear on My World My Way. Someone actually recently commented on a forum post I'd made on ArbitrageMaker.net asking, like, you know, why the same monster sprites are used for both games. I'm like, well, that's because they're in the same universe. Um... It's a bit weird considering, you know, the, the My World My Way has to take place like several years after this game because Owen's a lot visibly older. And so is Kate for that matter. Yeah, by the time My World My Way comes out, he must be like 15 or 16 or something, man. He definitely looks like he's picked up, you know, at least that many years. First, she's been working as a furniture workshop. The town of Southwark is famous for its furniture workmanship, so you were trying to work at one of the many furniture workshops. Fortunately, they were turned down. Their answer was always the same. We've got too many people already. Still getting a job in the forest. There are plenty of jobs to be had here. May get a job chopping wood for the furniture workshops, or gathering mushrooms, or even hunting, however. This monster's been roaming the forest recently. It's currently closed to the general public, apparently. Weird creatures known as apple vipers have been attacking people. Yeah, apple vipers are a bit weird since they look a lot like a snake. No, I had a job in some other town, but I'd hate to leave my home. We are overlooking the town from a nearby hill, pondering your fate. Thought you were alone, but all of a sudden a voice broke the silence. Hey, you there. Well, well, there's nobody here but me. Here, hey, hey, come over and pick me up. Someone fall down, or am I just hearing things? What's the matter? Are you bad falling things? You are, aren't you? Where is he? Am I just imagining it? See those bushes to the right? Not that way, right. I said right, right. Here, don't you see me? It's a talking... Shovel? Hey, y'all, I'm a magic shovel. If you haven't already figured it out, a talking shovel, of course. Who would who would not expect to find a you know magic shovel you know in some bushes you know? Wait, are you the one that's that's right? Of course you are. Shall we get stalled then? Hmm. Are you ready to dig some holes? Oh, what? That's your job. Isn't that your job? Who are the caves? Caves just outside of town, but. Wait, let's eat first, buddy. So we're buddies now? What's for dinner today, buddy? Monster food? Good stuff, ain't it? Does it ever shut up? So I to drop this shovel. I better try and find its owner. Don't forget to take care of me, too. Polish me with oil until I shine. Why well, shine, buddy? That's your job, too. What the? Digging holes all day is a great life, I tell you. Come on, boy, let's start digging holes and let's keep on doing it. Yeah, this is the magic um, dungeon building shovel. Or else we're talking shovels around here somewhere. Oh, and where have you been? Yes, childhood friend and business partner. What's that shovel for? I wouldn't talk to it if I were you. It's hard to get the shove once it started. Huh? The mayor's been looking for you. He's found you a job, apparently. Go and talk to him and find out what it is. It's great. I just hope it's not digging holes. Digging holes? Is that why you got the shovel? Warned you about talking to the shovel. Once it starts talking, it never shuts up. Um, what are you talking about? Shovels don't talk. Oh, him. He's not pilot, but he is the mayor. There you are. I found you a great job. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Sell it out to the castle house and that ain't jobs for a young orphan. Well, 
As you know, the Kingdom's been suffering from a plague of monsters. Soldiers are hunting them, but they keep coming. You know, as Alpha was in the forest, the castle has a plan. A plan? The plan requires that we find a shell that happens to be located near South Ark. A shovel. A talking shovel, can you believe it? I believe it. Must find it. If you succeed, they'll have a reward for you. War relief. Also, don't touch it. Uh, it's a magic shovel. Anyone who touches it becomes a shovel's partner and must do an incredibly hard job. Your task is to farm the shovel. Someone else will do the dungeon. Wait, you haven't. Uh, yep. What's that shovel you got with you there? You're just noticing it now? Don't tell me it's the talking shovel. It's the shovel that never shuts up, yeah. Nani? Hey, mister. Uh, uh, um, yes? Who are you, huh? Huh? Yes, only ask me. Who are you and what do you want? I'm beginning to see what you mean. This shovel definitely never shuts up. I get it. You want a dungeon, right? What kind of dungeon do you want? How deep? How many treasure chests? And it better not be 21 floors deep, or it'll be going right into hell. You know what I'm about? This shovel is made to dig dungeons. That's it, they and simple, really. Mr. Shell, you have the gift of grab. I'm not using the speak, saints. Apple poppers. What? I went not for the past 50 years, but I could hear them nearby, and that's what woke me up. Apple poppers nearby, right? Don't worry, I can lure them into a dungeon in a flash. All it takes is a dungeon big enough for 10 or 20 monsters. Apple poppers will find it irresistible. This is truly amazing. Well, I believe we can kill two birds with one stone, then. Solves the problem what to do about your job. You're a dungeon digger now. Also takes care of my little apple viper problem, too. Yeah, that's your job now. Take that and use it as seed money or turn those caves just outside of town into a dungeon. A master dungeon. <laughs> He's just thinking about our town with its very own dungeon. Great way to boost South Ox economy. Why don't you start by going over to the case and seeing what that shovel can do? There aren't any monsters in the case at the moment. See so you'll experiment with your digging without any danger. Okay. Yes, yeah, the furniture shop. Yep, his her big brother Woody. Good thing he doesn't have a cowboy hat. I'd like to speak for our entire family and saying welcome. Nice to meet you indeed. Yes, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm pretty sure you're looking for, um, looking for something to put in your home, or are you here for work? Work? I guess you could say I work in caves. We're in caves, you say? Well, apparently I'm a dungeon digger. Dungeon digger? It's your job is to turn caves into a dungeon and trick monsters into living there? He needs monster furniture. Furniture for monsters to use, um, um, you have a pet bed made of straw, right? We could put in the dungeon as a place for monsters to sleep. Try getting them to buy that. Yes, this this amazing straw bed. Even monsters will sleep like babies in this soft, soft bed. How about it? Come on, give it a try. Here, here. Right. So we can get feed barrels and straw beds. Ugh. Yeah, we're out of um stuff for now. Yeah, she always sells vegetables. What that song is though, I don't want to know. Unfortunately, she doesn't have, like, any weapons for us. They're all out. Really? I fight monsters. No kidding. So can I, uh, see some of the, uh, weapons and armor you have for sale? Sorry, I've sold my weapons and all my armor to the Knights, uh, of the Kingdom, unfortunately. Yep. Didn't. Uh, about all I have left is this knife. You can buy it if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I left myself with enough money to at least equip a dagger. Not that we're gonna have to worry about monsters today. Um, out. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Yeah, I suppose I am. Nothing too fancy, some healing magic, that's about it. Oh, that's some magic items. I'll be honest with you, I never really wanted to run the magic shop anyway. I wanted to sell food. I love gourmet dishes, and I love eating them even better. Make sure you're eating right, too. You can increase your HP and MP that way. Right food, you can even improve your other stats. Do you know how to cook? Oh, I can make spinach salad, that's about it. Eh, it's pretty good boiled too, you know. Boiled? Yeah, just boil it and add some dry fish flakes on top. 
Needs that you might check out the girl who sells vegetables in town square. She sells them. I don't really about cooking at the magic shop. We're probably gonna want to pick up some bombs at some point. But, we're not gonna do much with them right now. And I'd rather have money on hand. Yeah, I was hoping you'd give me some cash. Buddy, this is where we'll be walking. What a great cave, it's got character. How refreshing. What are you talking about? It's just a cave. And how's it got character? It's got like no rooms in it right now. Listen, buddy, we can only work down the day. It's not safe to enter the dungeon at night. Also, you want to leave it alone so the monsters will enter it. Sounds pretty scary. Nah, it's not scary. You'll be fine. Just fine. Besides, there aren't any monsters in there today. Let's go on in. Yeah, I know. It's a very boring cave, ain't it? Yeah, that'll remove a nice big hole for us. Yeah, I got it now. As long as we have any, I'll be able to dig. <sighs> Make sure you watch my MP as you dig. Unfortunately, he doesn't have much right now. Yeah, he's got only 10 to start with. It sucks. I did not want to bit a hole there. Okay. Come on. Yep, we're tapped out already. But it's fine. Okay. Mm, never really had to hear about a new dungeon digger. I also sent a reward for finding that shovel. Here you go. Yes, a thousand Gilberts. I mean, how was the shovel's pal? Do you think your dungeon digging will go well? No, all you have to do is a little digging to get the monsters to show up, so be careful. Monsters can not expect. First, it'll be cruel bats. You know the type. They're the ones that do all the stuff. Oh, and a feed barrel attack pig bullets, too. They're those other guys, you, you know? Hmm, those are both using monster cooking. Fry crow bats in oil and you can make fried crow. Pig boys and vegetables will give you pig ball stew. I think young people prefer fried crow these days, though. What do you think? Not sure what's good and what's bad. You could try asking some other kids. Ask them which they like better. Fried crow or pig ball stew? For the stew myself, but many other people prefer crunchy and juicy fried crow. What the heck is he talking about? Yeah... Unfortunately, I don't have anything to sell her just yet, so we're gonna have to buy a knife. I don't know if we even need that. I'd have to double check. I guess I could put that on, but it wouldn't be enough of an increase to make it worthwhile just yet. Um, I want to take that, obviously, because that'll come in handy. I'll buy some of these as well, because they're also useful. Yeah, light bombs aren't that valuable, to be honest. Because um, we get light magic if we really want to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a bunch of spinach for now. Okay. Yep, I'm home. Not there's anyone here. Oh, you're home. Never wanted to know. Hmm, I'm not sure either. I told him young kids like Fred Crow asked me to make it for him so you could try it. I'll make him some, I guess. You bring me the ingredients? I need a crow leg. Right. That's your job, right? Catching crow bats? Well, not really. Great, please get it for me. Remember, it's for the mayor. Fine. Well, let's eat some spinach at least. And I guess we're gonna have to rest for the night. No, I'm not interested in saving. Yep, a new day to get into new trouble. Okay. Eh, yeah, we're tapped out. Mostly. Yeah, there may be. You have a weapon? Potions? Did you say farewell to your friends? Your childhood lover? Your wife? Don't scare me like that. Did you buy furniture? You need a place furniture and make new rooms. Do that, and monsters will carry their own weapons and armor onto the dungeon. Just defeat those monsters and you can snag new weapons and armor for yourself. Typically, you might want to start out with some straw beds. You just find some monsters sleeping in them. Yep. Yeah, you want to be a few spaces away from the entrance if you want to get monsters in here. Okay, we're going to dig a hole there. There. And we're going to place some beds. Um, 
feed barrel there, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. Yep, just our first three rooms. Place in a way that's ensuring it's gonna cause us some pain. Because placing them like that means we're gonna have to fight three monsters at the same time. Oh yeah, we're still tapped out. It's fine. Okay. Let's, uh, have some spinach. We don't have any dried fish flakes. And that increases, like, your MP, anyway. And your HP, I guess, but I'm not super worried about that. Oh, I guess she does sell those. We could be doing both. Yes, the monster guide. Tells you what kind of weapons and all monsters will drop when you defeat them. Not to mention food and items. Yeah, about those. Do you have enough magic items, lot bombs, or fire bombs? If you don't have the right weapons and armor, you may want to rely on items at first. Follow them with the magic shop. Uh, let's just go inside. I don't need to hear any more. I, I know all the basics. I don't usually bother too much with um, the bombs, because they're only so useful. Like, once you start getting to higher levels, the weapons uh, will usually make up for it. Oh, great. Let's just take out all three of you guys, hopefully. Yep, that's one down. And a goblin. Good. Hopefully they'll give me um, 50 uh, gold pieces to make up for the bomb we just used. Yep, 78. Nice. They paid for themselves. Well, we'll be taking this with us. A crow leg. Yep. Just trying to efficiently build right now. Problem is, it's hard to really get money together, you know, early on because we gotta fight a lot of monsters for cash. But well, that's gonna have to do. There's nothing else I can do just right now. Where's that curly? The mayor's been waiting. I got it. Look, that's it. A little salt, a pinch of pepper, and that should fry it into some tasty fried crow. It's a popular treat in big cities, I hear. Hmm. Kids won't want to come this far to eat it, though. Change if there's something from the sea in this area. Some kind of attraction. An attraction? Something like that in a mountain town like this one, though. Yeah, you're right. I have to go visit the mayor. I'll take this crow leg with me. Ridiculous. Don't you dig? I'll just try that fried crow to me for him. It's not bad. Not bad at all. This will be our town's new stage of dish. Now we just wait for your dungeon to be finished. Hey, I'll help you out a bit. Here, I'll take this. Yes, 500. Iron chest, huh? You're a dungeon digger, aren't you? A dungeon without treasure chest is nothing but a dirty hole in the ground. If I call it a dungeon, you'll need to have some treasure chests. Or I'll place treasure chests in my dungeon. You believe it or not, monsters will put treasures in chests for safekeeping. I think the chests are the perfect place to hide treasure. Of course, they'll lock them, too. The only thing to get the treasure is steal the keys. That's the way it works, yes. The more monsters you have in your dungeon, the better the odds you'll find items in your treasure chest. How about no, they're because they're super expensive. You can only buy one a day anyway. I mean, while I get further down the dungeon, sure, fine. But for right now, it's a useless expenditure. Okay. Huh? Make you some delicious monster food. What do you want to eat? What are you doing? So is a cooking genius. No kidding. All sorts of ingredients from home. Pig born meat and the like. Tell me what you want to eat. Okay. Pig bore stew, obviously. Because that will raise our strength and HP. I mean, getting, you know, plus two MP is useful, but not the moment. After all, we only know one spell. How to heal ourselves. That's it. And as valuable as that is, it's not my main focus. Yeah, I need some dry slime. Mm -hmm. So I want to eat some dry slime. Thought maybe you could help me with some tasty food. Huh? I want to eat some dry slime. I see. Pay in advance. Thanks for your help. 200, huh? What a strange thing to want to eat. But if it's not as you want to find, look around a rubbish heap. A rubbish heap? You mean like a trash pit? Yeah, can you believe that Stan wanted to eat something that lives in a place like that? 
It's a little odd, come to think of it. Yeah, do you have a trash dump? Well, of course. This is a clean, sanitary trash dump. I'll even throw in the special net designed to keep slimes out for just 150 gilberts. Well, I don't need the net. Ah, uh, net, you'll definitely have a slime problem. You'll see at least one of them every single day. You promise? That's great. I definitely don't want the net then. Well, I'll sell you for just health enough for just 100 gilberts. It's a steal. Yeah, a steal, all right. Ironically, dry slimes do raise your defensive stats, so it's not meaningless to have them. Yeah, magic hole where the boss appears. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to really challenge it for a little bit, even after we unlock it. But for now, I just want to get in there and go inside, because I know all about fighting bosses, trust me. Hopefully, you know, we'll get some freaking oil out of this first one, so we can actually start doing some more work at a faster rate. Ah, great. Well, item. Firebomb him. At least the goblins are worth a bit of cash. And yeah, I know, we're not really showing off our own physical strength here, but I don't want to be fighting the goblins anyway right now. Because they hit a bit harder than I appreciate. I just wish this job paid more. Okay, we got ourselves a crow leg. And we found some pig boars. Of course, you know, they're all awake, so we're probably going to get... Well, thankfully it's only the crowbat that outsped us. Okay, let's just fire upon you guys out of existence. If only I had more stats. Come on. At least tell me we got a decent amount of cash for that. 37, yeah. That's the big problem. The only enemies that are going to be worth a lot, you know, are going to be the ones in the straw beds. And that's rather relative at this point. Okay. We're gonna drop a trash dump there. And another over here. And a feed barrel, and then boom, one more square over, because, you know, that apple fire is gonna appear in the corner over there. So just trying to clear the way at the moment. Okay, let's get out of here and, you know, head back to the service and go hit up the um, magic shop. No, that was just today you asked me, dude. I didn't have any um, nets in there before. Wish I could buy these more than one at a time, though. Well, no. Let's see. Yep. Pig boar while we have it still. And let's just rest. There's nothing else I can do today. Yep, a new day. Probably one must yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, if you fight three monsters at the same time, you always get an item. Of course, you know, it's a lot easier to uh, fight three enemies at a time, you know, when you're stronger. When you first start out, you're almost better off fighting one monster at a time, so you can heal between fights. But we're going to be taking advantage of these straw beds to at least get another quick kill in. Ow. Well... This saw pay for itself. Thanks to the goblin war cat being there. The war cats definitely love popping up in um, gardens as well. I guess they love the uh, smell of love the smell of flowers, not the feel of flowers. Or maybe they like rubbing against them too. I don't know. Probably another crowbat leg, because that's the only thing crowbats can really drop is their legs. They don't have anything else they drop. Somewhat convenient, I have to admit. Well, screw you. Okay, we got rid of the crowbat at least. Ow. Well, at least they didn't hit about as hard, so it shouldn't be too dead. Then as that thing's turn, great. Yeah, let's heal ourselves. This will be so much easier when we have the slime around just to be a meat shield. Because taking out, like I said, three enemies at once like this is not fun. And I need a lot more MP if I want to do that a lot more often. 
Slimes are even worse. Well, we got the chain attack off. That happens sometimes with knives, just not very regularly. Well, that ought to finish it off at least. Only 43 though. Gosh darn it. Yeah, heal me up, will ya? Okay. We'll take on these things. That's gonna sting. Oh good, missed. These things can potentially stun lock you, so I don't really like fighting them, you know, to be honest, early on. Hopefully that works on it. Ah, oh, man, we didn't manage to finish it off. And with my attack power, it's going to be hard to do more than like one point of damage to him right now, ain't it? And that's a stun move. Great. Yeah, we're going to have to back off for now. So now I get stun locked, I'm gonna have to run. Yeah, I can't win that fight yet without having at least two bombs with me. Gosh darn it. Okay. I'm gonna need a couple of these, unfortunately. Yeah, making money early on is a pain in the butt. Now I'll raise my speed, but that's not what I'm aiming for right now. <sighs> well, that'll do for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll continue to build the dungeon. Hopefully, you know, wipe out some enemies. Uh, until then, see ya.